and hold. Oh my goodness. Totally strong. Relax, relax, and just have a little feel of your jaw. Negative thoughts. Okay. Mm. And here is depressive feelings. Mm. Following my palms, and I'd like you to think about the trauma. We store uh, traumas in our body and hold. Oh my goodness. Mm. So that was the weakest earlier, and that is now rock solid. <laughs> Twina is a Chinese rocking massage. Got my whole body weight now into the toe, the neck, and raising the opposite hip in a bounce. Every cell expands. Beautiful, heavy, 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 heavy. And we feel safe. Mm. Oh, I'm so looking forward to treating you. So, we're going to do some kinesiology first of all. Can I ask you to raise your arm nice and straight? Yeah. I'm going to push here a little bit lower than that. Yeah. I'm going to push here. You're going to hold up nice and firm, strong, and hold. Okay. And the other one. And, and this one rested. Oh, just rested. Yeah. yeah. And hold. Okay. Can you raise a leg? Just straight. So? Straight. Oh, so? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to push here and you're going to hold up strong and hold. Okay, same with the other one. And hold. Good. Okay, can we raise two together? Arm and leg. I'm going to push, you're going to hold up strong and hold. Okay, so there's some weakness there. I'm just going to try the other side. And hold. Okay, just feeling a little bit of weakness. Um, have you drunk enough water today? Mm. I'm just going to test that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pull your hair. Okay. Oh, we've got some garden equipment going on nearby. Never mm. mind. And can I ask for you to raise your arm and leg again? I'm going to try pushing. You're going to hold up and hold. Yeah, you're quite dehydrated, so I'm just going to give you your water. Yep. If you could sit up and have a little sip. Well, if you could have all of that, that yeah. would be good. Thank, Thank you. you. Water has an immediate effect in the body. It goes okay. straight to the muscles. Oh, wow. OK, so arm up and leg up and hold. Yeah, that's better. And this side and hold. OK, I'm still feeling something, so um, the water has helped, but I can still feel something else. And to be honest, you've come here because you need a little bit of help. So in a way, I'm looking for something, um, maybe at a structural level, that I can treat. And yes, in an ideal world, I wouldn't find anything. You'd be totally 100% fine, don't need any help. But if you're coming with a reason, then really yeah. I'm looking for some issue. Yeah. So with this hand, can you upturn a finger and touch the roof of your mouth, the top of your mouth? So if the dome is like that, the back of the dome, the back of the dome, yeah. uh, thumb or finger, doesn't matter. Uh so finger to, to the, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and then arm and leg again, and you're going to hold up strong and hold. Okay, so it's not that one. You can release. That's fine. Am I able to feel your tummy? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a little look? Yeah. So... There's a valve here called the iliosacral valve. And I'm being a bit gentle, just having a little feel what it's telling me. OK, with this hand, can you put two fingers where mine are in 
quite deep into the side of your stomach. Yeah. And then can you, lovely, raise this arm and this leg. I'm going to push, you're going to hold up strong and hold. Okay, not so much. You can release that. So what I'm looking for is something that you're anchoring, one of these things, that will make these muscles go rock solid and strong. Because it's possible you have that in you to go strong and I'm looking for some trigger, some anchor, mm -hmm. that will make you go strong. Yes. Yeah. So now with this hand, can you put a flat hand on your forehead? and arm and leg, and hold. Oh my goodness, totally strong. Mm -hmm. No movement, you can release. No squashiness, no bouncing. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. Totally strong. Okay, so we have just checked dehydration mm -hmm. because um, the, the kidneys are all about hydration and the kidneys relate to the hair and if yeah. if the hair is weak the, it, it tells us the kidneys are weak and you're not you need water mm -hmm. so it wasn't that it, it helped a little bit then you touch something in your mouth called the sphenobacillar synchondrosis okay <laughs> It's a little joint and it can often in people be slightly out of alignment, okay. out of place. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that. Okay. These are all major things. So these are like foundations mm -hmm. that need yeah. to be right. Um, then we had a feel of the iliosacral valve. It wasn't that because that, that's very important. So then we tested stress. Ah. Okay. So it's understandable because of what you've come for. I mean, core therapy is different every time I treat someone. Even if you came back tomorrow, it would be an entirely different treatment. Okay. Yeah. Because your body is different tomorrow yeah. to today and your mind and everything that's going on and, and the weather and everything that will affect you. And so it's really interesting for me because I never know what techniques I'm going to give you when you walk in the door. It's not, oh, can you tick treatment A, B or C, please? It's not like that. It, it, it. So I do the techniques that your body tells me yeah. at the time yeah. is needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So stress. So I'm going to do some cranial checks with you. This is interesting because I'm not sure that I've done much of this on my channel before. So we're, I'm going to ask you with your hand to put your hand on different places yeah. on your head. Yeah. So can you put your hand on the top of your head and just give me an arm on its own and hold. Okay. Good, that's strong. Can you make a basket with your fingers and put it in your hairline? So not on your face, in your hairline, around your ear. Yeah, because okay. that's the temporal bone. And hold. That's good. Um, can you put two fingers next to your eye? The sphenoid and hold. <laughs> try, try that again and hold. <laughs> no. Sphenoid. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So I'm building a picture now, what I need to do for you. Can you gently um, touch the bridge of your nose here and hold? Fine. These are fine. That was so obvious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you touch your cheekbone, the zygomatic and hold? Fine. Okay. Can you touch an acupressure point next to your nose? and hold. That's large intestine 20. Um, can you put your hand um, here, my ponytail's in the way, but yeah, and put your head back down, yeah, and hold. So that's the occiput, that's absolutely fine. Can you um, give me a moustache? Yeah, and hold. Lovely. Can you touch round your chin? and hold. Brilliant. Lovely. I see passing everything else. Okay. So this hand down. With this hand, can you make a basket and put it around this ear for the temporal and hold? Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. 
With these fingers, can you make a line and touch your middle parting? And hold, absolutely fine. Okay, right. So I'm just gonna do my notes. So zygomatic sphenoid TMJ. So with this hand, two fingers, can you touch next to your eye and hold? Fine, interesting. And so this hand on your cheekbone and hold, lovely. Um, these fingers on your jaw hinge, so just under your cheekbone, yeah, yeah the TMJ and hold. Fine. Can you bring it over and touch under that side again? Yeah, and hold. Okay, a little bit squashy. I'm going to do that now, actually, because I have found with therapy that sometimes the TMJ can affect the rest of uh, the treatment, so I'd rather get this treated now. So relax, 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 and just have a little feel of your jaw. I'm not going to do anything sudden. In fact, it's probably going to feel like I'm doing nothing at all. I'm just tuning into the structure of the TMJ, the temporomandibular joint, and the energy and your breath. That's good. Swallow when you need to. So with some people, we hold tension in our jaws. We clench not only the teeth, but we can feel it all the way along the jaw, right up into the hinge, just under and back under our ears. And it affects the bones, the solidity of the chin, jaw, above the mouth. And then both sides and up over the cranium. The whole area can feel like a vice, locked tight and shut. But as soon as we relax and warm with energy and qigong and breath, the anchor point of all of those aspects of tightness right here in the TMJ, then it can send a relaxing, calming effect around the whole cranium, under the jaw, the chin, the mouth, the back of the head, up and over and around the ears. So, I'm just going to carry on with a couple of tests. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. So, can you raise this arm and can you raise this leg? I'm going to try pushing with both. You're going to hold both up and hold. Okay. And the other side and hold. Okay. So, can 
you give just bend your elbow can you put your thumb to your little finger I'm going to try and pull apart you're going to hold together and hold really strong okay um, if you put your head to the center of the pillow bring your head to huh? yeah and then can you bite on that yeah and do this again and hold okay and open and now in the left part of your mouth and hold okay and the right yeah you got it yeah and hold okay tiny bit on the right yeah, yeah. Relax, relax. So I can feel the energy. I can feel a vibration. So the work already done with the TMJ just needs a little bit more. I'm going to be doing a little bit more with the cranials towards the end of the treatment. Definitely working with the left sphenoid and the right Temporal. Just feeling into the right side of the TMJ a little more. It might be the right temporal that is pulling that TMJ. Okay. Lovely Manya, we're going to do a little bit of work before you turn over um, and it's called NLP, Neuro yeah, Li Linguistic Programming. Yeah. Oh, did we talk about it in the Algarve? No, but, but I studied uh, a little bit of it, not, not, uh, not as much, but I uh, had it in, my, in, a, in a study of mine. Brilliant. It's used in education quite a lot, actually, mm -hmm. NLP, at all levels. I knew it was used um, for exams uh, in, in England, so GCSEs and A-levels and beyond. But I, I can understand it being used at nursery level as well, in, in, in your vocation. So, it's NLP, and it's something called Eyes in Distortion. Oh, yeah, uh, eyes, eyes yeah. in distortion. It is used with trauma release. The good thing about it is, if you don't want to, you don't have to tell me anything about it. But obviously, we've had a good conversation about the, the, the topic already. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be... Um, or actually, before that, let's just test a little bit more. With your head in the centre, can you put your eyes top left and give me this bent elbow again? Bent elbow, oh, yeah. Sorry. With with the thumb to the little finger, lovely. Eyes top left, head in the center, perfect. I'm going to pull here. You're going to keep together nice and strong and hold. Lovely. Can you put your eyes to the middle left and hold? Okay. And bottom left and hold. Hmm. Okay, so that was completely weak. Can you put your eyes to the bottom right? And together, I'm going to pull and hold. Okay, so both coming undone. I'll tell you all about it in a moment. Can you put your eyes to the middle right and hold? No? Okay. Can you put your eyes to the top right? and hold. Okay, a little bit. Um, so, uh, 
these two were quite weak, this was the worst one, and these two were weak. Uh, these two were strong. So, um, you know this, but uh, nah, for the viewers... It, it, it's uh, more than uh, 25 ah. years ago. Ah. So. Okay. I don't know it anymore. Oh. This might inspire you to research it again, actually. Mm. Um, so when we look in different places, these are all filing cabinets uh, for information. Mm -hmm. And when we look top, your left, that is uh, things that we have seen. Okay, we have seen them. Uh, here is things that we have heard, so sounds, voices, conversations. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here is negative thoughts, okay. mm. and here is depressive feelings, mm. voices, um, and here are imaginative sounds, conversations, voices. So things in our imagination or hypothetical, yeah? Like things that we might worry about that haven't happened and then up here is the same but with things that we see that we worry about okay. or um, that they are hypothetical, they're imaginary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, children would do this a lot. They'd say, oh, you know, paint your favourite castle, you know, where would you like to live? And they'll make it all pink and glittery and, you know, it doesn't exist, but they're using their imagination. They're using this side of their brain. So their eyes will be looking here a lot. And if we're lying also, we look this way because it's imaginative uh, oh, yeah. thoughts. It's, yeah. they, it hasn't happened. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put my hands together and my palms next to each other. Your head is going to be in the center again, but you're going to follow my palms with yeah. your eyes. So my palms are very close to your face, so they may well be distorted and out of focus and blurry, but that is normal. That's, that's the essence of this. And do I have to look at D at this? You're looking at my palms. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, like, like that, at my palms. Okay? And then on my palms, use them as a screen, like a cinema screen. And you're going to be following my palms. And I'd like you to think about the trauma. Think about what you could see when you have your trauma. And now think about what you can hear, voices and sounds, when you have your trauma. And now put it all together, what you can see and hear. It's okay. 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 It's all right. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I do that when I, yeah. This is how I react. I know. Okay. But it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. And with you. Oh, it's okay. Okay. It's just I'm a sorry. reaction. I'm sorry. It's no, no problem. Love you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's no, no, not a problem, but it's just my reaction. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's for a reason to get it out yeah. of you. Yeah, that, that's totally fine. Mm. But now you know how I react. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've talked about it, but we store uh, traumas and past feelings and negative energy, maybe, in our bodies, in our organs or bones, yeah. limbs, head. And in order to get them out of our body, we have to shock the body uh -huh. out of it okay, yeah. using a distorted image, yeah. um, taking us back to connect with that particular 
trauma yeah. uh, with some people. I don't know about yourself, but with some people, they might have lots of things that have happened to them in their lives. Yeah. Scenes, occurrences that they can think back to and they might need more than more than one of these. Obviously, after the first one, they know what's going to happen, but it still works. Yeah. It's, it still helps. Yeah. And then it's out. And what we do now is we're going to retest those six. Uh, well, not not six, but because two of them passed OK. So we're going to retest four places to see if the trauma is gone. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you OK? Yes. Do you want some water? No, it's OK. Yeah. yeah. OK. So head in the center. Can you look? bottom left for me and bending your elbow and thumb lovely and hold oh my goodness mm. so that was the weakest earlier and that is now rock solid <laughs> can you look bottom right for me and hold absolutely solid can you look middle right and hold so strong and top right and hold Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So there was something else I could have done and I, I haven't, I don't always do it, but that is, I can ask you to think about the trauma, okay, and test it. Now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And now I have to think on the drama. Yeah, just for a, a few seconds. Ready? And hold. And I'm really pulling. And we didn't test before, but I bet if I'd have done that with you before doing this, it would have opened. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Okay, so whatever you were thinking about when I was doing that is not stored in your body anymore. Obviously, there might be other things or, but that, that which I presume is the worst one has gone. Yeah, nice feeling. So you can now turn over. Yeah. Hang on a second. Okay, um, I'm going to start treating you now, Manya, uh, on your body. So this is called Twina is a Chinese rocking massage. I'm just going to get a feel for what your body is telling me physically. That feel okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So I can feel some yeah, tightness yeah. here yeah. and I can tell because when I push you, your whole body goes that way. Mm -hmm. And what should happen is it should bend that way and this should come this way, okay. like this. It should do that, but the whole thing goes this way when I push here. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, sorry. No, but, not that much. But. Okay, but I will uh, get that better for you. You'll walk out even taller. So I'm just feeling into the lumbar, the top of the hips, the iliac crests. And a little bit of tightness here, lower back. What I'm after is for the spine to flow and give. There needs to be some 
movement and if you like a bending in the spine when I'm applying a little pressure, a little bit tight there. Just looking at the posture. So I'm going to come around and check the other side. Yeah, so feeling into the muscle groups as well, each side of the spine, down the erector spinae, picking up the gluteus medius, removing any tension, allowing flow through glute max, the sacrum, pressing directly on the sacrum in a downward movement. Seeing how the neck's reacting from this side is similar. Yeah, I think it's worse to the right side. Okay, so I'm going to do a little spinal work, walking each side of the spine, a lovely long spine, putting body weight nice and slowly where it's more congested. Yeah, there's almost like a ridge there, just at the very lower thoracics. walking on the sacrum, rocking the hips side to side. Standing on tiptoe to get that height and strength down onto the back. Wonderful, so nice on the trapezius. Coming down again. feel good there. That's much better, much better. It's really easing. Got my whole body weight now. Lovely, so good. Lovely. I might just do another Technique of a wing stretch, 
using the shoulder and the arm. Nice and loose, beautiful, so trusting. That's it, picking up and circling the shoulder, separating the scapula towards me and around in a circle. And a stretch. Oh, that's nice. And then pushing the fascia up in between scapula and spine while pushing the scapula down. Nice. Oh, so good. Working around the foot on the reflex zones, picking up reflex of shoulder and head, a couple of clicks but they've gone, and then into the acupressure points, anchoring in, pulling the leg out and raising the opposite hip in a bounce, that's it, realigning that pelvis, good. into the toe, the neck, down reflex of the thyroid, from kidney, ureter, down to bladder, circling, anchoring, pulling out, and then bouncing the body on that hip, Lovely, nice and gentle, and down. And then just realigning pelvis. I'm just seeing that it's slightly twisted, so I'm just going to try and balance out that pelvis. Nice. And a beautiful sacral float Qigong. So deep and powerful.
feel like the energy is going. Deep below my hand, inches into the body. And then balancing, healing. Tune in to the dural tube, the cerebral spinal fluid. As it pulses up and down the spine, around the brain. Allowing it to calm and reset. Beautiful. Okay, Manya, very slowly if you'd like to turn over onto your back. Okay, you're so lovely and tall. If you could come back up the couch about two inches, perfect. I'm just going to have a feel of your knees. You said the other day your knees sometimes are a bit, is it weak? Mm -hmm. And my hips also with the, the meditation. Yeah, hips and knees. Okay, okay. So what I'm feeling for now is to see if the knee, the patella and the fascia around it are mobile. Yeah, they're moving nicely. Okay, I'm just going to pick it up and put it on my knee. And give it a little jiggle. Holding thumbs to the heart tissue on the outside of the knee. Fingers into the center. Sending the energy to the whole knee structure. And it has started really quickly. There's a minute vibration. Gentle but very fast. And as the breath arrives with an inhalation around the body, every cell expands. And that is felt by a therapist at any point in the body. The expansion and gentle contraction. And with that breath comes beautiful healing. And when a therapist holds the area with Qigong, for instance, that breath
breath can be used, utilised to help heal that place. And then actually we're just facilitators. We are simply using the body's own capabilities to heal itself. Mm. That's worked nice and quickly. Nice and quick. Oh, actually, I'm just going to have a feel first. Yeah, knee tends to start off a bit clicky when I feel it, if it hasn't released for a while. Feeling into the muscles and bones around it. Hard fascia. Yeah. It's moving okay, a little stiff. Moving it up and down, side to side. Shifting any waste products that sit underneath the knee. And then relaxing it down and feeling into the chikung of that left knee. Mm. And again, beautiful energy in the breath. I can feel a presence here. Like an expansion and a, a healing sensation. It's like Manya's body is helping. Beautiful warmth. Mm, lovely. Okay, if you don't mind, Manya, can you bend your knees? Oh, and the other. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you able to raise your hips for me? Do you mind me putting my hand under okay. your hips here? And then down, and down. hips down, yeah. and one knee down, and the other knee down, nice and gentle. And I'm just gonna hold your hips. So this is a Qigong sacral float as well, just like the one when Manuel was lying prone. But this is, if you like, even more powerful because I'm holding the hips together at the front, fingers to elbow, holding the flat hand to the flat sacrum at the back and then tuning into the energy and the breath. Oh, wow. Mm, Manya is so responsive. It's like her body is saying, yes, please. Mm. 
Okay, if you could bend your knees. I'm just going to take my hand away and you can go back down. I'm going to put a cushion under your knees to help your lower back as well. Okay. That all right there? Yeah. So now I'm just going to treat the neck, shoulders and the cranials. Just going to have a little feel of the top of the thoracics. Yeah, still a bit tight here. Let's work on those. So I'm just shifting them left to right, bending the top of the spine to encourage the fascia and the muscles to let go and soften. And then up into the neck and cervicals. about C3 left. I'm going to remove the pillow and relax the head. Coming down to T1, C7. stretch to lengthen the space between each vertebra. Beautiful, heavy, 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 heavy. All the way back down to the couch, letting the head drop, releasing any tension in the muscles. Beautiful. And just holding it here for a little while, allowing the body to breathe again. stretch and turning the head to have a feel to the one side of the, the neck bones, the vertebrae, pushing each one separately to see if there's any tension there, to see if it gives or if it's out of alignment slightly. So. That's the one. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah, there's a little click. Just letting it relax, relax, relax. Beautiful, so good. You're so receptive. Oh yeah, that's the one. Here we go. So that's about C2 on the left. Most people's necks need some TLC. Our necks have to do such a powerful job holding up our very heavy heads and turning our heads every direction, especially downwards and forwards, which doesn't help the spine at the back. Yeah, okay, and then feeling into the spinal processes so these are the arms of each vertebra which come around and forwards in the neck, nice and solid, but they should be able to be moved when encouraged. Yeah, it's the upper ones that are quite tight and this will help turn the neck. It'll give it more flexibility and mobility. Oh, that's so tight there. Just going to hold it for a little while with some Qigong and a little encouragement to turn. Lovely. Okay, beautiful. And back the other way. 
seeing what the right side is telling me. The little pops. Oh, yeah. Feeling on the vertebrae itself at the moment. And then the spinal processes to the right. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that's good. Doing so well. Nice, beautiful turn to the head. You're going to find so much more flexibility here. Mm, nice breath. Good, a letting go kind of breath. Letting go of any tension. Beautiful. And feeling into back again. Oh, still tight at the very top. Yeah, okay. So another neck release. Letting the head tilt back. I'm holding the head, just letting the weight of the head Tilt all the way back. That's it. And a pull, very gentle. Mmm, really good. Letting go. And then I'm just going to feel the fascia. So this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle that stretches from the base of the neck all the way up into the cranium, around the cranium. It's a very strong muscle. It holds us up but it also lets us turn. We can feel it sometimes in our jaw here. So being able to release this muscle is so important. So it's quite tight along here. This could be having an effect on the TMJ. So I'm just encouraging it to release, let go, lengthen, warm and soften. Rolling it, bending it, warming. Okay, on the other side, turning gently and then holding the muscle. Yeah, again, it's nice and soft at the base. Starts to go very firm here. And it does need to have a certain firmness to it, but in fact, it can get too tight. So I'm just reminding the muscle that it can let go. It doesn't have to be holding all the time. For instance, when we're lying down. Mm, that's good. That will really help. So I'm just feeling with two fingers between each vertebra, right in the center, coming up the back of the neck. Then I'm going to do a neck release, just one vertebra down, tilting the head. It should produce a stronger tilt, which it has. And then just holding here, encouraging space. And a gentle pull. Mm. Lovely. Now I'm going to bring the head over and 
move the shoulder down in a bounce and then a stretch. And the same the other side. as the breath arrives and in the movement of those cranials there should be an alignment of the bones around the head, the, the cranial bones but also in the sutures which are the gaps between the bones little jagged gaps they should expand and contract naturally without overlapping or jarring. It should be a nice flowing action where they sit together nicely, allowing for expansiveness. And using Qigong around the cranials, it facilitates any realignments that are needed to allow the bones to sit next to each other without any abrasions or misalignments. Lovely. Now I want to work on the sphenoid, either side of the eyes, very gently, with my phenol muscle, working to the bone that actually stretches across the front, inside the face, around the eyes and across. And this sphenoid bone sits just underneath the pituitary gland. The pituitary being responsible for controlling release of the hormones for the endocrine system. There's a lot of movement here. I can feel a shifting. The sphenoid, the cranials, being aware of touch either side of the forehead and they're shifting to readjust. And a gentle calming. Calming. And a 
course the endocrine system also includes adrenaline that feeds from the adrenal glands that sit just above the kidneys and the adrenals and adrenaline is cortisol which is pumped into our bloodstream when we need to deal with a stressful or high energetic situation and it's really beautiful for our adrenal glands when they have a calming influence when we do yoga and meditation or breath work when we're doing a therapy or something to relax ourselves then the adrenals relax they know there is no work to do no messages to receive or send simply to relax and we feel safe we feel secure and grounded we feel at peace So keeping your eyes closed and taking a nice long breath, sending your oxygen all around your body. And feeling that oxygen arrive at feet and fingers. You may be aware of a gentle, buzzing, vibrational feeling. That is your beautiful energy. And gently moving into toes and fingers. Stretching the fingers and the toes. Stretching soles and palms 
and then maybe turning and rotating into ankles and wrists. And then if you feel like it, bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch. And opening your eyes if you feel like it. So, I haven't quite finished. I just need to retest a couple of things that we found earlier weren't as strong as they could be. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to check my notes. Okay, so can I have your left, uh, your right arm? and your right leg together. In fact, I'm just going to move that. Okay, and up. I'm going to push, you're going to hold up both, and hold. So much stronger. And this side, and hold. Fantastic. Can I have this arm and this leg, and hold. Hey, really strong. And these, and hold. Brilliant. So that's the TMJ. And they were quite weak earlier, so that is a lot better now. Um, and this and this one was your stress. Yeah, well, let's test it as well. So, can you put your hand on flat on your forehead and actually bend and just give me a little finger and thumb I'm, and elbow down and I'm gonna try and pull apart and hold and I'm really pulling absolutely strong and earlier that was very weak so that's really good with this hand can you put two fingers next to your eye and and hold really good with this hand can you make a basket around your ear and give me little finger and thumb and hold great tiny little movement I'll just do something with that. I'll just check my notes. I think that might be everything. Yes. So I'll just have a look at your temporal. Okay, so can you put your hand around your ear again in your hairline, lovely, and, and hold, perfect, okay, really good, so I think you can move when you're ready, you can get up, thank you very much for letting me treat you. Ah, oh, thank you so much, mm. yeah. Mm. 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 Mm.